Hi there, my feng shui friends. Today we are going to be talking about attracting the love of your life and boosting up your romance chi. And where are we heading for today? We are going straight into your bedroom where the romance should be. Some houses are lacking the love and the energy of romance. So if your home is like that, welcome to mjfengshui.com. I'm Marlena, your feng shui advisor for today. And we are going to dive deep into your bedroom right now. So I want you to focus on what you would like in your life. You may be here because you want to attract some partner into your life to share your rest of your journey with, or you may be here because you want to boost up the romance in your life. So whatever that is, let's just go for it right now. The first thing we want to look at in the bedroom, of course, is the positioning of your bed. We would have it, you know, in the center you know, of the room, of the wall it's at, leaving space on each side of the bed, okay? Adding a side table on each side of your bed is great, and to keep it balanced. So, you know, on each side table, you may put a lamp there and the same items on each side, right? Keeping some room there so your partner that comes in could place something there that is, you know, good for them. You know, maybe their watch. Sometimes, you know, a man likes to wear a watch and he wants to put it down there or his glasses or, you know, vice versa. If you are looking for the queen in your life, you know, the queen might want to put down their bracelets or their glasses or a book that they read. So make sure there's room there for that. That would be the first thing to make sure your bed is in the command position. If you don't know what that is, the um, best position for your bed in that room, okay, is against a solid wall, not against the toilet if you can help it, all right. Um, if you have a room where the only place to put the bed is where there is a window, then at night when you go to bed, put a um, very heavy uh, curtain there so that no light gets through. So you can, you know, stop that chi from outside, which would be water chi basically with the window, the glass is bringing water chi into your head at night. That's not good. Um, bad feng shui as well. So make sure that you you know, focus on how your bed is laid out. If you have to move it, then, you know, that would be great. Make sure that it is not aiming right out the door where your feet are heading out the door. That is a, not a good feng shui practice whatsoever, as most of us know. All right. Um, the next thing we want to look at is the room itself. How much clutter do you have in there? Right. Clutter can be piles of paper shoes, clothing, jewelry, cologne, perfume, you know, pictures all over the place, right? Take a look at your room, all right? You need to make a change in there so that she can flow, all right? Less is more, all right? Think about the energy of bringing a partner in. Can they fit in there, right? Is there any room in the dresser drawers for the partner's belongings? If not, we got to make some room for them to come in, all right? And the closet, that's another spot that holds a lot of old she in it. So my suggestion is to dive deep into the room and open up the dresser drawers, take everything out, clean the dressers, right? And let them dry, all right? And then look at everything you have, all right? Are you wearing it? All right. Is it old? Does it have holes in it? All right. Sometimes your socks have holes, things like that. 
um, old undergarments that you, you know, don't even know you have. You're going to find them when you pull all this stuff out. And make piles of, I wear these. And these other ones, I didn't even know I had them. All right. So if you don't wear them at all, are you going to wear them this week? All right. If not, it's time to get rid of them and make room for a partner to come in. Okay, so they should have a couple dresser drawers there and the closet. All right, for the closet, I suggest taking everything out of the closet. All right, this is a job, right? And it's okay because we're, you know, aiming at our goal. Our goal is to, right, attract the love of our lives and to bring romance back into your life. Okay, so either way, all right, rather you have a partner or not, this works. So take everything out of the closet, put it on the bed, all right? Look at all the walls in there and the shelving, all right? Make sure there's no cracks in the walls because sometimes the walls get cracked, okay? And they need to be caulked and painted because when you have cracks in the wall, it brings cracks in your romance, which could eventually cause arguments and breakups, all right? So take care of that, number one. If it needs to be washed down, wash down everything. Let it dry, all right? While it's drying and everything, go through your clothing and see what is, you know, new. What are you wearing that, you know, makes you feel really good? Keep those clothes in a different pile from the, well, I haven't worn these in a long time. They're just sitting there in case. Those are a different type of energy. Those are the in case, right? A lot of people save clothes um, because they say, well, I'm saving them for when I gain weight. Or I'm saving them when I lose weight, right? Now, those clothes I put in a different pile, I only put in my closet what I wear right now, all right? Wow, what a difference that makes, right? You find things you didn't even know you had when you do this decluttering and cleaning. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that nothing is in your room from the past. So that would be divorce papers, love letters, photos, right? Jewelry items, gifts that were given from past relationships. So that's the thing we need to remove from our room immediately. This way here we can allow a new romantic chi to flow in to our space. Some houses actually are not set up for love, right? So we have to bring that energy in, okay? I know from working with, you know, thousands of people over the years, what is going on in different houses. So some houses actually are not good for people. Isn't that strange, okay? So that would be a lonely home, right? How do you heal a lonely home, right? This is where we have to use a lot of feng shui uh, cures and different things, remedies to change that story in that home, all right? So in your room, okay, that's the romance room, the main romance room in the home. What else can we do? First of all, look around your room, all right? The ceiling to the floors. Look all around every corner. Look for cracks in the walls, all right? Even a small crack. Look for paint chips, stains, anything like that. Take care of that immediately, all right? If you have to hire somebody, do that, all right? Um, make sure it is taken care of because a crack becomes a hole. And what happens? It breaks up the energy that you are trying to manifest. So it stops the flow. And we want to fix that and remedy that as fast as possible. The next thing that I 
really, you know, want to take a look at is what's on the walls. All right. What kind of photos are on the walls? All right. I know I had a client before that, you know, wasn't able to manifest um, a good relationship. Everybody they would go out with turned into an abuser and they kept saying what's going on you know and i said you know let's do the consultation went through the house and believe it or not there was two spots in the home that had to be quickly remedies one was the bedroom in the bedroom they had big photos on the wall of Tigers, tigers ready to pounce. Same thing in their office. What kind of energy story is that, right? So I said, how were you sleeping at night? They were having a hard time sleeping as well. I said, because you are under the energy of being attacked night and day. So that's why it is drawing in abusers, right? And you can't sleep. And the same with your business. People were not coming. All right. So she removed the tigers off the walls and out of the home. And what do you think happened? Her business people started coming. All right. Yeah. And she actually was able to manifest the man of her dreams. All right. Yeah. And that person was loving and kind and supportive, right? That's what we're looking for, that kind of romance where you can actually feel their love for you, where you're not chasing them, they're chasing you continuously, all right? Never give up, never give in, all right? Look at your room, look at the walls. Make sure that you remove any photos of family members, children, um, deities, you know, a lot of people have photos of angels and, you know, fairies. Um, some of them have mermaids and some have pictures of uh, Mother Mary and Jesus and things like this. They have to come off the wall. It's like having all these people watching you in bed. All right, so let's remove that energy out of there. We don't need people watching us, right? Okay, we want to feel safe, of course, and secure. It's okay to have, you know, a cross in your room, all right? Make sure it's um, not hung, you know, loosely. It should be supported very securely on the wall, especially for those of you that like to put them over your bed, okay? I really don't like anything over my bed. You know, it just gives me a feeling of something's over my head. It could fall down on me. That's my, you know, idea. That's my belief anyway. Um, now we want to look at, all right, what to put on your walls, right? Romance photos. Photos of happy couples. And it could be your, you know, if you are in a partnership or a marriage, photos of your wedding. Right, can go there. But for those of you that are still, you know, looking for love, all right, we are going to focus on photos of loving couples doing things that you would like to do with your romantic partner. Do not have any photos of single women or men on your wall, all right. Um, no photos of a couple in the rain, all right. With an umbrella, that has to go. I know there was a lot of photos like that. Don't have that in your bedroom, right? Water in the bedroom, not a good idea, right? So think about that. No water in the bedroom, all right? No eyeballs staring at you. I know we all love our children and our family members. Take them out of there. Another client I had could not sleep and contacted me. We went through the you know, bedroom, and I, before I even saw the bedroom, I just basically asked them, what's in your bedroom? What's on your dresser? 
was my, you know, intuitive uh, question. And they told me <laughs> they had the ashes of their spouse on the dresser. And I said, that's why you can't sleep. So I told them what to do. And they did it. And now they're sleeping real easily. Like a baby, I'll say, right? Sleeping like a baby. Um, so just think about your bedroom as a love nest. All right. How would you feel? Say you're the woman and you're a man coming over. The date's coming over. How would you feel if you were the man coming into that space? Just put yourself in the guy's place if you're the woman. How would that man feel if they were to move in your space with you and they had to sleep in that bedroom? All right. So if it's all pink and, you know, rosy and things like that, it doesn't really support the man. All right. And the same goes for if you're a man. And you put yourself in the woman's place and they come in and look at your bedroom and it's all naked women on the walls. All right. Race cars and all. You know, this is what we got to look at. We got to shift that. All right. Bring it down to earth. Okay. So put yourself in the other person's shoes and look at the room. If you are a girl, act like the man for a minute. And say, is this color right? This bedding right? So women like a lot of frilly things, lacy things, um, lots of pillows, right? Man come in, he just wants a blanket there, a pillow to lay his head. So we have to kind of bring a balance in so that people feel comfortable in that space. So think about these things that I've shared with you today. And then, for those of you that are really looking to upgrade that romance sheet in the room, all right, maybe you've done most of these steps, you have a couple to take care of right now, all right, but I'm going to give you a little tip here. Now, if you have two fancy bowls, all right, doesn't really matter the color right now, right? I am thinking about silver little dishes or something, really nice ones, all right, or gold ones, all right, that's just me. And getting yourself roses. So you get yourself, you know, a dozen of roses. Walmart sells them pretty reasonably. Um, and then put the roses up in the house, you know, out in a different room where everyone can see them when they come in, okay, um, good spot. And then as the roses are starting to drop the petals, okay, you can take the petals and put them in those dishes that I just talked about, two of them, and put one on each of the bedside tables with some rose petals in them. And just bringing in some romance into the room. Right. I used to take the rose petals and I would put them in the freezer all right, with um, wax paper. I would put them in wax paper and fold it over, put them in the freezer for a few days and then do this practice here. You can do that and they will last a little longer, of course. You can press them, dry them. I used to buy, you know, uh, roses. Um, with potpourri bags. They'd be inside a potpourri bag. They will work as good as well. You know, you can try these little tips and just boost up that room. But the first thing you want to look at is that room looking like a love nest. If not, how can you make it look that way? All right. On a budget, right? So you don't have to spend a million dollars, but you know, $20 on paint and caulk, sometimes that's all it needs, right? Other times it needs to be decluttered, right? 
make room for a partner to come in, okay? Make them feel comfortable if they were to move in, okay, with you or even stay over or whatever after a long while of dating, all right, and figuring this is the right person for me, okay? So these are some of the tips I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions, you can place them right underneath this video. I will answer you. If you found this video helpful to you in any way, let me know. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. I have loads of new videos I'm uploading all the time. I was thinking about you today and thought about roses, all right? Roses and love and just bringing romance back into our lives. And, you know, those of you that have been reaching out to me, you know, complaining about their romance life and what's going on, right? And it's definitely a lot of negative energy floating around in the atmosphere as we know. So we don't want to play a part in that whatsoever. We want to focus on making things good in our life, making them better, and um, adding new chi, you know, into our spaces. So we want to bring love in the house, right? The opposite of anger is love, right? And forgiveness and chill out, right? Just chill out, let it go, and it will pass, right? But we want to have a beautiful, joyful atmosphere. So let's play with that energy today. What can you do that changes your story? If you need help, reach out to me. I'm going to put the links underneath this video for you to check them out. I have a lot of new items um, in my store, my feng shui store. A lot of photos for your wall. All right. Romance. Yes. All right. So let's have that. Let's have more love. Let's have more romance and more joy. All right. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Have an awesome day. I know you will because you are absolutely amazing and awesome. And so am I. Bye for now.